me about a moment when you felt awe. When we feel that, that mystery, it's an emotional element. We can intellectually, scientifically understand how the Grand Canyon was formed. We can, to an extent, understand how the universe formed. You start with that question of when did you feel a level of awe and majesty? Not, can you explain that? When did you feel that? Judaism often gets reduced to, I show up at a service or a festival, maybe I know a little bit of my history, but the philosophical side of Judaism, the sort of the big questions that are embedded in rabbinic writings, that's something that most adults have far less experience with. Scientists in Synagogues is an initiative that aims to bridge the worlds of Judaism and science. And to be able to explore conversations with rabbis, to be able to say, these are some big questions that are not just religious questions and they're not just scientific questions, but they're human questions. And how can we model how we have good conversations on difficult, complicated, challenging issues and, and, and topics? This was an eye opener to say, hey, we're gonna have seminars and presentations on science and the connection to Judaism. I remember people said, what are you talking about? There's no connection there. They came to understand there were tremendous connections. And they were among our most widely attended programs. And it wasn't the usual suspects who were coming. People had big questions and wanted to learn from experts in their fields but also I think learn from their friends. A value of humility was, was, was huge in this, that, that there's room to learn, from, learn as academics, as fellow people with intellectual curiosity about a topic. I was so interested to see the, the people who were showing up for these programs who I, you know, really didn't expect to be there. And who in the end, you know, not only stayed for one, but came back for all of them. Um, and who I think for the first time that I could see, really felt like there was something that, that grabbed them. Our scientists in synagogue program in Chicago brought in like three or four times the normal number of people we'd get for an evening adult ed class. Um, so some of that says to me that people are really curious about these questions. I think a lot of times as, as Jews we can feel like, yeah, to be Jewish is to be kind of a little bit shut in. And here it's like, no, 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 no. This is actually a whole new vista on the world more broadly, I think broadens the horizon for people in the congregation to recognize how extensive Judaism can be. I wanted a a way of marrying these two different sides of myself, the more intellectual and the spiritual. I kind of want, I want that for my congregation. So for the, the, those who are scientists um, and who come to synagogue, I wanted them to have a way to see that these are not two totally different worlds. And so to bring scientists to synagogue, not just as students of their tradition, but as providers of wisdom, because the providing of wisdom is part of their tradition, is nothing less than a sea change that actually expands what a synagogue can be, expands who they as scientists can be, and widens the conversation of what people gathering there, Jewish or not, can discover. When a scientist who is somebody who sits here and, and they get to say, wait, oh, this was, I didn't realize this person was like that prominent of a scientist. I didn't know that this scientist was this passionate about Judaism. I didn't realize how much Judaism brings to the table on these kinds of conversations. It allows them to be the fullness of who they are and they, in, in a way that they hadn't been beforehand.